Yo, what's up everybody, a super fly fat guy, 859 coming at you again. So I just wanted to do a quick little uh, side note to this video that's about to come up. Um, this is like my collectibles box. This is the box that I keep all, well I keep papers and stuff in here too, but I keep collectibles in it mostly. But uh, I don't think I've ever seen one of these on YouTube. Might have, but it's old and beat up. It's real beat up. And then when I was younger, I don't know how well you can see that, but I colored all over the faces and stuff with uh, with permanent marker. But there's a, uh, what were they called? The, the Hardy Boy? No. Ah, oh, man. Uh, Marty and something. I can't remember. And Shawn Michaels. Uh, but I can't remember what they was called. The Hulk. Uh, Legion of the Doom and then uh, the Ultimate Warrior he's the, he's the one he's the best one on here that hasn't been beat up or anything but I just thought I'd show that for the wrestling folks I'm not wrestling I'm not into wrestling any, anymore at all but I figured I'd show that little box and I'll throw this at the beginning even though this is after the video um, but I think the fat man will appreciate this more than anybody uh, Steve Coffin signed a race car or horse racing card. Uh, my dad got that for me a long time ago, but I figured if anybody knew uh, who Steve Coffin was, you would. So uh, there you go. Well, you might not be interested in this, um, but uh, the shiny knife tagged Renneman Jr. to uh, to show his baseball car collection or his sports card collection. And then uh, Shiny and I told me to do it and to tag the Fat Man to show his. So Fat Man, tag, you're it, brother. I didn't know this was going to be a tag, but it seems pretty cool. So uh, Fat Man, tag a couple people when you do your uh, your video. But um, So I figured I'd show them off, talk about them a little bit. Uh, first things first, when I was a kid, huge card collector. Um, I wish I would have kept it, but I also collect Pokemon cards, and I had the entire first edition um mint condition uh first edition uh pokemon cards and i sold them and uh i would have got a lot more money now than i did then um so i don't have that anymore but i had the entire for 150 uh card set of the first first edition with the um the little power cards or whatever they were called energy cards that's what they were called but uh so i don't have those anymore and then I was a huge collector when I was a kid. Um, <laughs> I used to have a baseball card uh, shop about three or four blocks from my house. I used to ride down there on my bike all the time and pick up packs of cards that I would get. I, I would pay for them with uh, money I got from Christmas or birthday or, you know, doing chores or what, you know, your allowance or whatever. And um, and I would get so many rookie cards that the guy that owned the shop called me the rookie card king. Uh, he was like, oh, here he comes again. He's going to get some rookie cards out of them packs. But uh, I used to get a ton of them. But the problem is I also grew up around kids that, that also collected cards, and I got hustled out of them, man. We would play basketball for uh, for baseball cards or, you know, sports cards, and I'd get beat a lot. <laughs> so so uh, a lot of my collection is in the collection of other people now. Uh, so anyway, let's get into it. This is actually something that my Uncle Mike – uh, the one who passed away uh, 12 years ago this year, um, he got me this. He paid for it. Now, my Uncle Mike did not make money at all. And at the time, the Dan Danbury Mint, this shit was expensive. He didn't make good money at all. I mean, he made decent money. But anyway, he uh, over a period of like 14 months or something like that, he bought, he got um, a certain amount of cards every month. But uh, these are two that, that came with it. When uh, Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire were uh, going for the, you know, the the um, uh, home run record, uh, these are the two cards that came with it. So uh, these are all uh, gold plated. So I got these. I don't think this set's worth all that much anymore, um, but it just means more to me in sentimental value than anything. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna flip through them kind of quick because this video could be very very long. Uh, I don't have a lot of room here. Let me get some more light on. Oh, there we go. Uh, so what we got? Cy Young. Hannes Wagner. For those of you that don't know, I think, and it, it could be it could be changed now, but the most expensive card in the world is a Hannes Wagner. I don't remember if it was a Topps or not. I could be wrong. 
but actually my buddy White Mike has a um, Ty Cobb of the same exact kind of card uh, as this one. And, uh, dude, it's bad, son. Um, his dad got that for him. But anyway, uh, just, you know, Babe Ruth. Of course, these aren't all, like, original time cards or anything like that, but they're all... Uh, they're all gold plated and stuff. And they're all like, um, you know, there's no new age players in here either. There's just a bunch of uh, Johnny Mays or Mize, sorry. Um, Mini Min Minoso? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, that's the collect. I, I got a bunch here, so. Um, I got the entire collection that came that you know that came that year or whatever, uh, and then this just tells a little bit about a 22 karat gold uh, baseball cards, the history of uh, baseball card collecting and stuff like that. So that was kind of cool. So that's that's my first little part of the collection there, um, and this is kind of hard because I don't have a whole lot of space. We'll go with the smallest binder here. Um, this, I don't even know, oh, okay, this is my football and basketball. Uh, okay, I did a, a lot of consolidating a couple years ago. I had, God, I bet I had 30,000 cards, and I went through all of them uh, over a period of a couple nights and um, picked out all Bengals, so this is like my little mini Bengals collection, it doesn't matter who they are or when they played or anything. I just I like collecting the Bengals cards, uh, so that's that's what I did. I took all the Bengals cards out, and I think um, yeah, I got all the Reds in here too. So I took all the Bengals cards and all the Reds cards out, and kind of made like a little collection. But this isn't something that I add to. This is just something that I've kept. Um, but a lot of the cards that I had, I mean, out of thirty thousand, I probably had uh, at least twenty thousand that were just common cards. Um, so they weren't really, you know, anything special or anything like that. But I did have uh, copies or, or duplicates, rather, of um, of some cards uh, that I just put in there, and then I traded those on Craigslist to a guy for a couple knives, um, a Benchmade and a Buck 119. So anyway, we got uh, Bengals cards. See, I told you there's not many, <laughs> two pages. Um, but like I said, I just kept the Bengals cards that I liked, and and uh, it didn't really matter who they were or anything. Um, and then here's just football cards of different people. I'm not really going to go through everything. And and mind you, I don't have a lot of cards predating like uh, 1990, but um, but I do have some. So I was a huge Emmett Smith fan. Uh, I was a huge Barry Sanders fan. I was uh, football. Um, Terrell Davis. I was a big Terrell Davis fan that year. Um, I think he scored the winning touchdown at the Super Bowl. I could be wrong about that, but I think he did. Badass player. I was a big fan of him. The whole Cowboys, man, back when the Cowboys was like a dominating force, loved that team, dude. I uh, loved Jerry Rice. I loved, uh, you know, Dan Marino and um, Steve Young and uh, Boomer Esiason and um, all those, you know, the big time. And then we get into... We get into the Reds cards. Again, uh, I just kept everything Reds. I don't really know everybody here. I was a huge Barry Larkins fan. Uh, that was probably my favorite uh, Cincinnati Reds player. But I just kept everything Reds. There's Jose Rio. Um, Chris Sabo. I was a big Reds fan. So I, got, I kept all the Reds cards that I had. I had a little collection going on. Eric Davis. So got that, and then I never did. Uh, I never did um, finish this collection. Renovin, you probably know what I'm talking about, and I guess the other card collectors that are watching this. I never finished this. I wish I could have, uh, but I never finished the collection. I think there's a couple more of these uh, credit card looking uh, knives, <laughs> credit card looking cards. Um. In this, and I guess this is, uh, and I didn't really have a lot of Barry Larkin cards. Uh, there's a couple though. Willie Green, Jose Rijo. There he is, Mr. Pete Rose. He should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Uh oh. Dave, uh, 
Concepcion. Concepcion. Big red machine. Oh, you, can you see that? I don't know if you can really see. Yeah, big red machine. Um, that's all really. Let's see if I can get this any closer. I know that glare sucks, guys. I'm sorry. That's the only way I can get the light, though. I'll just kind of show you like that. Let's see. What is that? Pokey Reese. Um, yeah. Ooh, who's that? Mario Soto. That's that's an older card there. That's probably 70s. Uh, there's another one, Carl Fisk. Um, let's see. Carl Fisk is 77. And Mario Soto uh, looks like it's 70. No. 76, I guess? No, I guess it had to be 77 or 78. So, yeah, some of these predate me, actually, um, but I don't have a lot of old cars like that. But, yeah, as you can see, I got a, de I got a decent little Reds collection. And then this just goes into um, uh, regular cars. Frank Thomas, I was a huge Frank Thomas fan just because he was massive. And I've always had appreciation for, like, super, like, super buff, super just, like, huge dudes. I, I know that sounds gay, and people are going to be like, oh, <laughs> what do you say? But, um... I love, I don't know, I just love cars. Oh, I used to. I don't really get into it anymore. There's Jeter. Hell, I probably got a Jeter. Probably got a couple Jeter uh, rookie cards in here. If I look, I know I got several. I know I got at least one, but I got a bunch of several uh, King Griffey Jr. cards. And I might even have a couple rookies in here that I don't really know about. Uh, I got some King Griffey Sr. I got... Who's that? Oh, Ted Williams. It's a old. It's like, it was like a throwback card. Cal Ripken Jr. I love Cal Ripken. There's King Griffey Sr. there. Um, hell, that's probably an older card, too. Uh, I think it's from 86, I think. Uh, and then I had a thing with uh, these holographic cards. So I got like a little mini collection of holographics. And then I have some... Um, uh, yeah, I threw in some basketball on here. And then I got two, the only two race car, or racing cards I got. How well can you see that? Jeff Gordon and uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr. And these are actually pretty old and in pretty good condition uh, from 92. That's Jeff Gordon there. And then I just got some spare sleeves back there. Oh. Oh. All right. So that's that one. But my, what I would call creme de la creme, my specialty was the NBA. I love the NBA. Uh, that was my favorite card to collect. So naturally, that's the most of the cards that I have. Um, so let's see. This was a uh, set. And I think I'm missing a few, man. And they're a bitch to find. Um... Yeah, so I got a I got a list here in this sleeve here of the ones that I need. So I kind of did that <laughs> on these uh, collections or you know or uh, sets. I mean, and I got a couple sets like that in here. I got a couple sets that I actually finished too. There's one where I'm missing the the one card. I'm only missing a couple of that set because I got pretty much all of them. Um, I try to find the, oh this was the hardest set to collect or uh, complete. These are like a bitch, man. And there's only a few that I don't have, man, but they're so hard to find. Um, for a decent price, I mean, I don't want to pay $30 for a card that, you know, the, the whole collection's only worth $30, you know what I mean? And then I'm missing a whole page here of them. This, this set I have completed, it's, uh, I don't even know what year this is. Uh, 19... Damn, I can't read upside down. Jeez Louise. 97. 97 Skybox. NBA Hoops Skybox. Talking Hoops is the, the uh, set. I, I completed that one. I uh, had some Olympic cards that I just put all in a row all together. Uh, this was another set that I really wanted to complete, but it was just it's just it just cost too much. The hardwood uh, leaders of this year because they, they actually had hardwood leaders of several years but the 97 series um, of uh, flair 97 98 flair the hardwood leaders um, I wish I had the whole collection but uh, or the whole set but I don't now this is where the creme de la creme comes in because 
I've got some amazing. There's a Tracy McGrady rookie. I've got some really good rookie cards. Um, uh, still got that I didn't get hustled out of. Uh, these are all rookies. Um, Sean Kemp, Sean Bradley, uh, Latrell Sprewell, uh, Kelvin Kelvin Cato, uh, Keith Booth, uh, Kendall Gill, uh, and Nick Van Exel. Uh, see, the NBA was where it's at, man. Or for me, it was where it's at. Jamal Mashburn. Um, I know I got some. Uh, I know I got some. Um, the hell's his name? Kobe Bryant rookies in here too. Uh, Tracy McGrady, uh, Marcus Can Canby, I don't know if you, Carl Malone, Matt Maloney, there's, uh, there's Ray Allen rookie card, Allen Iverson rookie card, um, Antone, or Antoine Walker, uh, these are all rookie cards too, um, these are all rookies as well, see, Tony Dell, he, I think he played for, uh, Kentucky, um, See, well, there's Allen Iverson again. So yeah, I got, and then here's all a bunch of rookies too. That there's a Kevin uh, or a Kobe Bryant rookie, two Allen Iverson rookies. Oh, uh, I can't even read them. It's hard to read in this kind of this angle and upside down and everything. Um, more rookies. These rookie re rookie rewinds. I love that. Stephon Marbury, Tim Thomas, uh, Chauncey Billups. That's a rookie. Chauncey Billups. That might be worth some money. Ray Allen rookie. That might be worth some money too. Stephon Marbury, Steve Nash, rookie, uh, Sharif Abdul Rahim, uh, yeah, Derek Fisher, rookie, Sharif Abdul Rahim, Kerry Kittles, uh, Antoine Walker, Ray Allen, rookie, Kerry Kittles again, so a bunch of rookies, Tim Thomas, damn, 15 minutes, Woo. uh, Jam Master, Scotty Pippen, uh, Shaq, a little tiny Shaq car. Oh, Shaq, dude, I love Shaq. Here's one of my favorite cards. I don't know why. Uh, Jerry Stackhouse key ingredient, but it's like, uh, it's see-through and it's gold. It's pretty dope. I love it. I got a bunch of cool cards in the in the NBA category. Um, see, I was a big Shaq fan, dude. I love Shaq. There's a Shaq collection there. Uh, I'm sure I got plenty more Shaq uh, spread out through here. Allen Iverson card. Jeez, I bet I had 100 of those. These were some of the coolest cards I've ever seen. Um, the SP, uh, uh, what was it called? Special Prospects or something. They were just so cool looking. Future uh, franchise future Juwan Howard. And actually, some of these guys you'll hear uh, announcing NBA now. <laughs> uh, Ray Allen. There's another one. Uh, no, it's not a rookie, but it's a Ray Allen though. Zensations. That was a really cool. Uh, Really cool set too. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, there you go. Sensations. Um, Patrick Ewing. Do I have two cars in there? Or is that just a, is that just a one card? Holy crap! I got two cards in there. I didn't know that. Who's this one? Glenn Rice. No kidding. <laughs> well, that's uh for somebody that's like super anal about. Organization that kind of sucks. Does that mean I have to re I have to move all those now? So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna forget about it. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, we're getting pretty. There's some more shacks. Kobe Bryant's. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. There's Kobe Bryant in college. Wherever the hell he went to. Oh no, high school, not college. I don't think he went to high school in Pennsylvania. More Shaq, Rodman. I love Rodman. I don't give a shit what anybody says about him. He was a bad. He was the best rebounder in the game by far. Jerry Stackhouse. So a bunch of cool cards, and then we get into the older stuff here. Uh, Larry Bird. Some older, older cards. These are probably uh, 93. The other ones that you saw were late 90s. This is another one that I tried to collect the whole, uh, the whole set of, and just gave up. Because it was too hard, Star Quest. And then these are all my Jordans, man. I I don't care what kind of Jordan it is. If you got Jordan shit, I'll trade you something for them. I just I love Jordan cards. But I got a bunch of Jordan cards. Well, not a bunch. My buddy White Mike's probably got 400 Jordan cards. I don't have clear that or near that many, but uh, yeah. Let me try to keep this 
20 minutes or under. Man, I love these. There's a Jordan. I still collect these from time to time to time. If I find them on eBay for just a couple of bucks, I grab them. This is probably my favorite Jordan card. He's playing pool. And are those two actually? And I just love I love pool and I love plant or uh, Jordan. So, and then I got some Space Jam cards that I just kind of threw in the back here, and uh, and one Marvel card of uh, the Beast. So that's it, man. That's my card collection, uh, Fat Man. Definitely, uh, definitely do the video and do some tags. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try to keep this under 20 minutes. So everybody, take it easy. Renaman. Thank you, brother, for doing the video. Shiny Knife, thank you for tagging me, man. Everybody, take it easy.